My name's Lorraine Moore. I teach gifted and talented students in grades four and five in Spartanburg School District 3, and that's in Spartanburg, South Carolina. My project, Solar Science, Solar Society, is geared to helping fourth and fifth graders learn about solar energy as scientists by doing controlled experiments. Um, on both, we started with 61 degrees. And in um, no, without, without the um, we solar panels, we got 72. And, then, and when we started with, we got uh, 81. Okay, what else have you discovered or noticed about these devices, either through just examining them and their packaging or through your research that you just did? I noticed um, they all really store most of the energy before they actually really use it. Ah, so they all have a way of storing energy. That's an important observation. I was also interested in the critical thinking it would engage my students in as they considered pros and cons, debated the pros and cons of a move to solar energy. And there wouldn't be that many oil spills, and so they could, it would be a cleaner society. If the sun is behind the clouds one day, maybe that they wouldn't have any power to run things like ovens or light bulbs or refrigerators. Well, actually they do because they have a lot of energy stored in... A debate brings out some powerful reasoning and higher level thinking in students and they have to consider the issues, they have to consider the points of view of all stakeholders. My stakeholders group was the electric companies and since the electric companies were made to produce electricity for other homes, they would have to close down and lose most of the jobs for other people. My stakeholders are the environmentalists and they would go for solar energy. My stakeholders is the oil producers and I think their point of view would be negative. Well, my stakeholder is the citizens, and I think they would like it very much because they wouldn't have to pay as much money for the ele el electricity bills. They could save a lot of money, but they would have to spend a lot of money to get all the solar stuff for your house because it, it would take a lot of money to make your whole house solar. Even though they would have to spend a lot of money in the long run, at the end, after they've done all, bought all the cars and changed their house, they would still have money. Yeah, well, and they would gain the money, money back again. Yeah, I agree with that. you. Yeah, because the job. They're becoming much more confident with taking problems that are messy, maybe not perfectly clear-cut school-type problems, but messy real-life problems, like should our society move to solar energy, and reasoning questions like that out, finding relevant information to bring that bears on the question, considering other points of view. So just overall, I think they're, they've gained a lot of confidence as problem solvers, real world problem solvers. What learning from our Solar Science, Solar Society unit do you think you'll be able to use in the future? Well, I'm interested in politics, mm -hmm. and when I grow up, I would like to know about solar energy just in case the world, you know, wants to try to make more houses go mm -hmm. green. Well, I thought it would be pretty cool if, like, the government put up solar panels on the White House so people would learn that you wouldn't have to pay as much money for electricity and things like that. <laughs> okay, I'm, we're going to be looking for that on the news, solar panels on the White House.